bythjul.com. Däck och följare online direkt hem till din dörr eller närmaste verkstad. I flew with BMW Motorrad to Portugal to drive the newly launched BMW CEO 2, the second electric scooter or bike, or as BMW wants to call it, the e parkourer Their first one was the CEO 4, and would you look at it, it nails a funky futuristic design look that fits quite nice in an era of bikes or scooters that needs a design that can withstand some time to come and still be able to sparkle a cool attitude in the urban environments. The wheels are quite fat and big for the overall dimensions of it, and that makes it feel robust and powerful but yet very nimble. It's been set out to attract a younger type of crowd and buyers which are greatly portrayed in the marketing material. And that at the same time makes me wonder a little, what does it cost? Well, there are two versions, one 11 kW, 15 horsepower strong one that takes you up to 95 km in range, 0 to 50 km an hour in 3 seconds and reaches a top speed of 95 km an hour. Then there is a 4 kW version with 5 horsepower that is limited to 45 km an hour and can be driven by people who has the AM permit or a regular driver's license for a car. Both models delivers 55 newton meters in torque. There is a belt drive that is virtually maintenance free and a weight of 132 kilos for the 11 kilowatt version and 119 kilos for the 4 kilowatt version. Price for the 11 kilowatt version starts at 91,500 Swedish crowns and 79,900 Swedish crowns and with some extras or the Highline package you lean a well bit over 100,000 Swedish crowns threshold for the 11 kilowatt version and that is some money for a what it seems a younger customer group should be able to pay. At the same time it sits in a somewhat lonely space now that the ride cake recently filed for bankruptcy and knowing that BMW Motorrad makes among the best bikes at the moment, that somewhat mentally reassures you that this ought to be good. This premier test drive was only available on the 11 kilowatt version. Alright, so now we're heading out onto the streets of uh, Lisbon. We got reverse assist on it, we got this little navigation and you got the app from BMW. So you can, uh, you know, navigate through. You get this menu here, how much battery you got. Uh, the elevation, speed, trip, bike info, rides, weather, navigation, very simple, very clear. And you can also adjust this screen here through the buttons and that menu, really good. And the design of it, it looks really, really good. It's very airy underneath here, I like this Alcantara looking, you know, like almost race text look as well. Put on the uh, heated steering grips and uh, let's go. And on to the uh, cobblestones. This is really where you can feel, you know, how this suspension works. That's very, very soft. Oh, here we got to some uneven parts. But yeah, really floats. Ah, you adjust like that, you push it out, you got full beam on, which is normal one there, and then you flash it like that. Yep. In reach, everything feels really well placed. Heated steering grips is is really pleasant. Something that old bikes should have. You don't want to get cold. And I mean, if there's someday that it becomes a bit colder and you got these mesh type of gloves that the wind runs through, perfect to uh, get some provided heat there. Like that, it's a well-equipped bike. And that's what BMW does. You know, this has not really got any... Oh, sorry. That hasn't really got any uh, competitors in this segment because it's, it's a little bigger. It's a bit more mature and it's a bit more high tech. It drips down from the BMW's high technological departments. Sure, there's a lot of different scooters, but this feels a lot more sophisticated and highly, much more highly advanced. And at the same time, look at it. It looks really robust. The design looks good in profile. You got the belt drive, you got ABS. It is a uh, premium product, this one. You can really feel that. So this is the high line version. You got it all here. You can get some accessories to this one. You can get some bags to be put on. That is really good if you want to stuff some more things in there. This little windscreen here oh, just protects a little of your dash here, which is good. So now we're a whole bunch here and got the uh, CEO 4 here. That's what it's called. It's a bit bigger. I like that one. The design of these bikes, they really harmonize together. Small one, urban one. Of course, an urban one this as well, but a lot more 
power but this one really nippy and feels a lot more mature than the segment of these bikes they look just cool and I like this integrated system here you know the beginning can be like okay let's uh, maneuver this but just like that put it hold it for two seconds and you can uh, maneuver the screen in front of you. you get the trip the total pure ride all right you can go back you can click OK and then you can set these uh, different settings if you just want to have a sporty and see how much power or recoup you're getting and the speedometer very clean very nice the brake has a really good feel to it you just need to squeeze it calmly and it really grips it weighs a little over 130 kilos this one but you don't really feel that but at the same time this weight you want that and the low center of gravity makes it really really balanced it doesn't feel like it wobbles in any way so good center of gravity rather long wheelbase and good tires beautiful 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 now the sun is coming up this is the environment that you want at least the weather when driving like this and having a bike traveling commuting in a busy city traffic well you feel so much more free you can squeeze through and this instant momentum keeps you going with the acceleration and the uh, tempo of the traffic it's great not using any clutch or uh, building up the momentum it's there all the time then if you need that um, flash mode and this uh, high line output that you have here maybe not but it's fun to unleash some uh, some more power the handlebar is also very nice it is rather wide and uh, sticks up in a uh, nice way so it's a perfect position for your shoulders and you can maneuver it so well you have the perfect balance of putting it out into its uh, widest output steering angle you can roll rather slow keep the balance without putting down your foot into the ground so that is good oh beautiful look at that wow the brakes are powerful you got anti-lock brakes abs on the front not on the rear wheel it's so good you know just rolling like this needing the momentum and you just squeeze a little and you're up to pace it's something different driving an electric bike in an environment like this and this is where it really sets the tone where it is efficient driving with a clutch a fossil driven engine like this oh you can drop out on some uh, momentum and uh, that is not nice when you're around parts like these so let's do a little launch here let's see how quick it is off the line hey it's quick i think it handles really really well on this uh, cobblestones and oh yeah the road is rather beat up here but it doesn't shiver and shake about too much throughout your body of course you can't get away from the fact that it, when it's really really rough you can feel it you can feel it on and you can hear it as i speak what is that piaggio ape cool one getting some shots on that one okay let's try out this uh, reverse so you just pull that reverse and then you throttle a little so very convenient if you want to park like this and that gradual input of throttle is really good you know so it's not it's not getting jumpy or anything now you know it's got so much this one it's airy it's roomy you have control over its whole body and uh, it's convenient in that way that it's very intuitive with the systems the brakes are good and the system by buckling it up to the uh, app here so we're off again if you want to keep on going in let's say flash mode that you were riding last time well then it's in that mode even though you've turned it off and when you get on it's the same mode I like that so you know what mode you've been into and what mode you might want to keep and this is also such a cool thing you know when we're riding these electric bikes you can talk to one another as you drive along instead of having that engine sound that makes you need to scream 
if you want to say something sometimes if you've got some loud ones that's got its charm of course but this is really really good and really really fun you communicate in a different way before you needed some intercom systems to talk to each other but now this is just good and fun and there is a lot of good about it to be had. ABS brakes on the front discs, you can ride two on it. ASC, automatic stability control and RSC, recuperative stability control. Reverse assistant, two driving modes, flow and surf as standard with an optional third one called flash mode, which is a part of the Highline trim. Flow means that you can get some region of the battery, in surf, none. And in the sporty flash, some more region. There is also a keyless ride, Low seat at only 750 millimeters, 3.5 inch TFT screen with USB-C socket, anti-theft alarm, LED headlights and BMW connected services and cradle mode in the Motorrad app. You can charge the 4 kilowatt version from 20% to 80% in 1 hour and 25 minutes. The 11 kilowatt version needs 1 hour and 40 minutes for this with an optional quick charger. Fully charged, the 11 kilowatt version can cover up to 95 kilometers. The 4 kilowatt version up to 50, more than enough for most commuters. You can get it in cosmic black paintwork and a monochrome black seat as standard. Equipped with the Highline package, the CEO2 becomes even more extroverted. With exclusive paintwork in cosmic black, two, three color motorcycle seats and 22 tapes, including rim tape set. The gold colored fork takes it to the next level. The external 1500 watts quick charger for the 11 kilowatt version gets you ready to go again a lot quicker. It really impressed me this bike, because I want to call it that in some regards. It felt bigger, sharper, more agile and much more adventurous than I thought it would be. Quick and you were easily a step ahead of that busy city traffic and also in decent line with the speed at the shorter distances on the motorway. Comfortable strong brakes and the chassis moved quite well and soft over some real sharp and beat up sections of the road that we went on. It just felt like a mature and sophisticated bike that handled the urban environment with ease but also made you smile and feel like you could be a little competitive when the demanding roads outside the city showed up. So BMW Motorrad has done it again so far. A great quality product with intuitive system that in this class and format really sets it apart from a simple commuter scooter. And with that said, I think the price starts to reach the motivation of it and what it puts out on the table. I'm actually that amused by it that it doesn't feel far off for me wanting one. And in essence, that's what two-wheelers are meant to do. Make you feel joy. And this one does.